So you've just finished building your nice, shiny, fancy website. You've published it. You're sitting at home, staring at your screen, wondering where are the users coming from? Are there any users? What are they clicking on? What pages are getting traffic? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Google Analytics, which is a website tracking tool in your very own Y code and Tailwind based website. Let's dive in. All right, so we're gonna start off by heading over to Google Analytics. Just Google, Google Analytics will be the first thing that pops up. And we are going to create a new account together. Uh, so I'm gonna do this here. Let's call this one test. The next thing it asks is what data do you want to be shared? For my case, I like to share all the data because I like to use as much as I can of data from them to make decisions on what I change and how I update my own projects but you do not have to share all that data and you can run the code on all pages or just on specific pages of your website. So I'll leave it up to you to decide how you want to filter what data gets sent to Google and where you run the code. But following through the steps, we're just gonna tick all the boxes here. We're gonna call this one test YouTube video. Uh, make sure you set the time zone that you're in because you want to be able to go back and look at your reports and see in your own time zone when did people visit the website, what did they do, where, the tra where is the traffic coming from, at what time of the day. Uh, set your currency, especially if you're looking to sell different products or digital downloads throughout your own website. Uh, then it asks some basic information about the project. Let's just say that this is a business website for a small company and I want to measure everything. So I'm just gonna tick all of the boxes. Go ahead and create, agree, or read the terms and conditions if you're one of those guys or girls. And then it's gonna ask us, what platform do we want the tracking to be for? So we're gonna choose a web platform. We're gonna give it a website name. So let's just call this my test website and create a stream. Next thing that it will give us is an overview as well as the instructions to install our tag. So we are going to do it manually. It's quite easy. You don't need to use any plugins or additional tools. And we're going to copy the code we have here. From there, we're gonna jump over to our project. So our projects are built in Y code. Y code is visual website builder along the lines of Webflow. It's a relatively new player in the market, but it's built on Tailwind, which which is an extremely scalable framework. It allows you to really have better control over things like colors, layouts, components, styles, while all at the same time, not having to worry about things like classes and your naming conventions and your class system, because they've all been determined and all been pre-built for you with Tailwind. So I'm gonna jump in here, go ahead and log in, and I'm just gonna create a new project for this video. So you can pick one of their existing templates or you can use any of our free templates. More on that a little bit later in the video. But for now, we'll just start from scratch. My demo website, call it something simple. Give it a little sec. It's going to generate the website and open up page builder. Now that we're in the builder, we want to add our tracking code. Now there's two ways that we can add this. We can either add the code on individual pages if you don't want the entire website to be tracked or you can add the code globally so that it automatically picks up any of the existing pages or any future pages you add to your project. I'll show you how to do it for both scenarios. If I wanted to just add it on specific pages, what I can do is head over to the pages tab on the left hand side of the builder here and then select custom code. And inside of the header, I would paste that code we just copied from Google Analytics. So it's this one here. From there, I just go save. When I publish my website, Google will start picking up traffic from that page. If I wanted to add it to all of the pages on my website, I'm going to go over to settings, custom code, and I'm gonna chuck my code in the header here. Again, save changes once you're done, then publish when you're ready for it to be live. Once it's published and live, it can take 
up to 48 hours for Google to start picking up traffic, especially if it's a brand new website that doesn't currently have any website traffic. But other than that, you're pretty much good to go. I'll give you an example with a site that I set up earlier today that's already picked up its analytics code. So this is our new website here, creator.gg. And if I go over to the homepage, you can see it's picked up the tracking. There are no users on the website at the moment, but I know that it's working and that data collection is now active. All right, last but not least, if you wanted to get started in building your own website project, but you didn't want to have to configure all of your different templates, all of your different styles, and you wanted to streamline all of that and have it all automatically interconnected and preset, go ahead and grab our boilerplate Y code framework. It's completely free. Anyone can download it and it gets you started on your own Y code projects without having to do a lot of the initial configuration and setup. It also keeps everything interlinked so that you can really scale the website, make changes globally, instead of having to edit every single element when you did want to update that font color or the radius of a different border on your project. Let me show you how it works. So if you jump over to creator.gg, you'll see two things, the style kit and the UI components. Let's start off with the UI components. The UI components are essentially hundreds of pre-built components that you can simply copy and paste onto your own project and that have been pre-configured to work within your own workflow and inherit a lot of your global styles. So if I was to scroll through here, you can see we've got a bunch of different hero elements that you can pull through. You can see they all have very consistent styling in their headings and the buttons and the spacing that they have. There's literally hundreds of components that you can grab, clone completely for free. From there, it also uses a centralized style kit, style system. So you can then jump into your style page and change everything from your colors, your typography, your spacing, your scale, anything that you would need to change to create a real high performing web development workflow without having to worry about all the intricacies or any of the code. It does it all for you. So you can see here on our style page, we've got our different colors, our headings, our body, our buttons, badges, and so on and so on. And again, the idea is you make a change here on the style page and it will apply those changes to all of the different components that you might want to use. If you then made a change on the component, you can save it so that it doesn't override all of the other styles. So you can essentially control with a sort of parent child or master component setup where you can change big picture, all of the different components and their layouts and their styles and still edit all of the children for the use cases where you needed to make one change for one specific area of your website. Real easy example of this is with our typography, you can see we've got our base heading one set here in our dark neutral color, but on our homepage that needed to be a white color. So I've got the override on this specific page, but if I did make any changes to my base typography, whether that's choosing a different font or a different size, it would still be applied to the child elements that are built with our framework. Um, so yeah, go ahead if you wanna grab it, it's completely free. Just head over to creator.gg, click on request access and it will give you a download link to clone the project into your own Y code account and help you jumpstart your own web development projects all while keeping consistency in your styling. That's pretty much it from me today. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything else that you'd like to see in a future video. Thank you very much for your time and stopping by and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.